days ahead of the Samsung Unpacked event, I managed to get an early hands-on with the new Samsung Galaxy Ultras. So I thought I'd make this video for you to get a closer look at the new colors, the design upgrades, and also if you stick around, I'll show you some camera samples, S24 Ultra versus S23 Ultra. And as well as that, I'll run through some of the new Samsung AI features that you need to know about and that you'll get if you do decide to pick up a 2024 Galaxy. And if at the end of this video, you like what you see, and I say something like, please subscribe, don't be like, no, no, I don't think I will. Just do me a favor, will you? Anyway, in the words of Anakin Skywalker, join me and together we can rule the galaxy. So let's start with the biggest visible change to the S24 model this year, and it is the fact that the display is now flat. And even though it appears to be completely flat, there is a tiny, tiny bit of a curve where the screen meets the body, but it's almost unnoticeable. And just so you know, on the S24 Plus and the S24, it is completely flat. And I do believe this is a welcomed upgrade as it will prevent accidental touches on the edges of the screen. Also, you won't get any screen warping or light bleed on those curved edges. And the S Pen experience will be significantly better as it won't slip off the edges whilst drawing a masterpiece or writing something. And one of the benefits of the curve was that it kind of made the phone feel thinner and the bezels appeared to be smaller. But the good news now is that the S24 Ultra is actually a tiny bit thinner and the bezels are the slimmest that they've ever been on an Ultra model. So you don't have to worry about the loss of that curvature on the screen at all. Another big upgrade is the materials used. All of the Ultra models now use titanium with the S24 and the S24 Plus still using the Samsung Armor Aluminium. Now the titanium here on the Ultra model is said to be more durable than the Armor Aluminium that we saw last year on the S23 Ultra. The screen glass, it now has a brand new Corning Gorilla Armor, which Samsung say is four times more scratch resistant. And also for the first time ever on an Ultra phone, this new coating brings an anti-reflective layer to the phone, which reduces reflections by 75%. And you can see in this clip here, as I'm moving the camera around, how the light reflects off the S23 and how it reflects off the S24, you can see there's a massive difference. That's a subtle upgrade, but it will make a big difference when it comes to viewing your phone in bright daylight. And the display has also been upgraded. It is still using a 120 hertz LTPO AMOLED, but now the brightness tops out at 2,600 nits, which is around 40% brighter compared to the S23 last year. And the screen touch response rate has also been improved by around 12%, which means it's even better than it was before when it comes to gaming and things like that. And what you can't see that might be the biggest game changer of all is under the hood is the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for Galaxy. And this is a Samsung Galaxy exclusive that no other manufacturer will have access to. And they called the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 the titan of on-device AI. And I made an entire video about that. If you want to check it out, I can link it at the end. And I'll give you a sneak peek at what it can do when it comes to photography towards the end of the video. So stick around. Something else that's hidden inside this device is a 1.9X larger vapor cooling chamber that will allow that Snapdragon to add some serious firepower to your gaming and graphics performance without the device running too hot. As you might already know, when devices run too hot, this can cause throttling to the performance and really slow down your gameplay and things like that. So that shouldn't happen here unless you're a proper sweaty gamer and you game for like 10 hours straight or something. And I'm thinking about doing a thermal performance comparison between the S23 and the S24 just to see how much of an improvement has been made. Let me know if you want to see that and make sure you subscribe with notifications on. No because I'm probably gonna make that video. There's a couple more subtle changes to the design that you could easily miss, but I think you should know about. The speaker has been improved at the base of the phone, and you'll notice instead of the speaker holes drilled into the metal, it now just has one larger opening for that new driver. And because there's less material in front of that speaker, this should help those sound waves flow a little bit better. And when you look at the top of the device, you'll notice what appears to be a second mic, which wasn't there before. So hopefully we'll see improved microphone quality when it comes to recording videos and making calls. And I was particularly interested to see if there were any changes to the camera lenses used. And on closer inspection, the camera lenses appear to be bigger. However, they might have just shrunk down the silver ring around them. I'm gonna have to ask Samsung if there has been any hardware changes there, but I got a feeling they're probably the same as last year. So you can see that they've really stuck to that winning Galaxy design from previous years, but just refined it in subtle ways. But some of them will make a huge difference. And something else that's quite subtle about the S24 Ultras is the colors. And that brings me nicely onto 
the new colors. First up, we have the titanium gray. This is actually one of my favorites. It's kind of that natural titanium color and it's quite a bright shade. And when the light hits it, sometimes it almost looks silver, kind of like Mandalorian Beskar steel. This is the way. And I really like this color. However, it's my second favorite of the S24 Ultra colors. Next up, the titanium black, which is more of a dark gray this year, as opposed to a pitch black. And you can see here, I've got the Phantom Black S23 Ultra just behind it for comparison. So you can really see the difference and why I kind of call it a dark gray as opposed to black. And I do love this one. And I definitely wouldn't call this a boring box standard black. And the reflections in the light highlight its more frosted, lighter, finish. It really is nice. And also it's not a fingerprint magnet. Now titanium yellow, this is the most delicate color of the four in my opinion. Something that's quite nice about this one is the frame almost looks gold in the light. It's a subtle yellow and looks really nice when the light hits it. It kind of gives off a glow like a precious metal or something. And I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who will really love this one. But for me, my favorite color just marginally ahead of the titanium gray has to be the titanium violet. It's kind of a moonstone gray in some lights with more bluish tones when direct light hits it. And one of the reasons I like this one the most is how the slightly tinted titanium contrasts with that violet back. When I put these all in the lineup, out of the four, this is the one that stood out the most to me and the one I felt most drawn to. I do think it might be the most eye-catching. However, if you want your phone to be not so flashy, less eye-catching, the gray or the black could be better suited to you. So let me know in the comments, which color is your favorite? Now, the camera samples I promised. So as you know, Samsung has some of the best cameras out there today and the best keeps getting better every year. So the S24 Ultra now uses a new Pro Visual AI engine and there has been a significant improvement in image signal processing thanks to the new Snapdragon. When you combine this with the new 50 megapixel optical quad tele system for improved zoom capability, you get some impressive results. So here's a side by side ultra wide S23 Ultra versus S24 Ultra. Here's the same picture 1x, 2x, 5x. So the big upgrade uses that 50 megapixel adaptive pixel sensor that has 1.6 times larger pixels, which results in 160% more light intake in comparison to last year's S23 Ultra. So this will result in better photos in general, but we'll also see a massive jump when it comes to night photography. Something else that will help night photography and video quality is the upgraded enhanced shake compensation, which is made possible by a 2X wider optical image stabilization. This means the lens has more room to move around above that sensor. Also, when it comes to snapping bright scenery, the dynamic range should also be significantly improved with Samsung's brand new Super HDR feature. And this feature is supported by apps like Instagram. So that will translate across when you import your photos. And there is a ton more post-processing tools that have been upgraded like Remaster, Magic Eraser, and the ability to remove reflections. And I do plan to fully test out the camera in a camera comparison or the review in the future. So keep an eye out for that. Now let's quickly talk about the new Galaxy AI features. There's a brand new generative fill feature that will allow you to crop, reposition parts of your photo, and then use generative fill to build up the image around it. And just to keep things honest, any images that do use this generative Galaxy AI, they will be stamped with metadata to let people know that they are AI enhanced. There's also an upgrade to the voice recorder with the ability to live transcribe and an all new ability to summarize those recordings into bullet points. And it can also translate into 13 different languages at the time of this video. There's still more in the pipeline, but what might be even more impressive than that is the ability to translate voice calls live. So you could call someone in another country and use the Galaxy AI as your own personal interpreter. That's pretty sweet. And unfortunately, I didn't get time to test all of these out during the hands-on session, but I'll definitely dive into them in depth when the phone is officially released. And something else that's gonna be very useful and might make you want to use the Samsung keyboard even more now is the chat assist, which can help you rewrite things and refine words device wide within any app so that you can sound even more intelligent than I know you already are. And it also makes it perfect for people like me who are terrible with vocabulary. So that's enough wisdomous words from me. Let me know in the comments 
which color is your favorite and what do you think of the new upgrades? And also if there's any specific content you'd like me to make here on the channel with the S24 Ultra, leave that in the comments below and I will definitely see it. And guys, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications.